we got quite a few of a mess here. The bath toys. We already have this little thing. So now I'm gonna redo a quick review on this. Um familiar brand with like kitchen stuff. So it's designed where it has holes so you put the toys in if it's wet, you don't have to worry about it because it'll drip. And then pull this up. Okay, gotta cut this. Or just unwrap it. But yeah, basically um you take this part out and then you can just drip the remaining water conveniently. So let me do that real quick. Just giving you a heads up, it is smaller than what it looks in the picture, at least for me. You know, I saw this in the picture and okay, but you know, when you look at it, the bathtub. I mean, you can see it's small. So, anyway, this is it. Just put it in here like that. Because this, you know, it looks big because it is, right? But then, it's even smaller because this is the actual storage. This is just to retain the water. It has a pump that pushes it up. See? So, again, it fits a little, a little something, something. I don't know if it'll fit all that, but there you go. So, quick review. I'm going to show you. I fit most of it in there. While it is a lot smaller, I, I could say the positive side to that is that it won't take up too much space. I could just put it in that corner right there. But also, if you look at it like this, if you have something else like one of these or if you don't have to in the bath toys, I say it's perfect because it'll just, whatever you put in the end tub, you know, you take out of there, then you put it back, we, um, get rid of that water, and that's pretty much it. You know, you're not gonna have a whole bunch of stuff. So I think it, it does the job for the size. In my opinion, maybe not, but I think it does the job for the size. Anyway, that's it, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, take care.